Another wonderful evening, afternoon, whatever you want to call it, uh, here at Hot FM Radio After Six Prosperity Insights. And I'm always overjoyed and energized to be here. And my man, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. Good. Don't know good. about you. Well, I'm doing extremely well. It's just been a very interesting week. You know, as far as little bits and bobs going on, very interesting week. And I think officially <laughs> i list on prosperity and science yeah. so these are the views of reverend walter nothing to do with anybody else true these are just my personal views i think we're we could we could say we're almost a colony <laughs> <laughs> okay. of certain nations because i could not believe it i i think you know just a week ago or something in those lines i had sent a message and uh, the message was obviously commenting on uh, his honor, the mayor, and his is uh, going to bust a few Chinese shops which were doing things that were contrary to what we thought was right. Mm. And so for him to come back and do an apology was like, whoa, okay, wow. Who wrapped his fingers, <laughs> who gave him a bit of a knob carry to make him come back and apologize unreservedly very interesting and you know i've been i've been i've been doing this thing about china mm. and what's going on eh so it's 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 a bit of a shocker to be honest as far as i'm concerned it's a bit of a shocker but then you think you're done with that you, you think you've dealt with the chinese uh mayor apologizing thing and then comes the the zccm ih you know 2.5 million gold thing and that just i was like okay and, and then i'm still dealing with that i'm reeling from that i'm trying to figure out what's going on and now we've got five million dollars that are about to be given or paid or procured or consulted or whatever word they use to some expert to help us restructure the debt you're like you know if, if it's like mingle time and i'm like this <laughs> as you can see me on mingle oh yeah totally shocked because that just blew me away. So I think it's been a very interesting week. That's what I'll say. It's yeah. been a very interesting week. I've asked a lot of questions on social media. I've gotten some very intelligent answers to every one of those situations. We had very interesting debates from both sides of the divide. Uh, but but as, a, as a person that watches the trends in the country, I think, I think PR need to do a lot of work. Mm. I like currently, whoever's in charge of ZCCMI, HPR, which I know is my sister, uh, Madam Kakoma, and then over at um, at Ministry of Finance, I don't even know who's in charge there. So, and then you know wherever, everywhere, there's just really bad vibe right now. That's 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 what I can say. Mm. There's just bad vibe. So somebody really needs to do some work. And uh, we still don't have cars. <laughs> so so I don't know. I don't know. But nobody's wearing masks. <laughs> 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 Looks like nobody wants to wear masks. <laughs> no, but the funny part, the, the one that just blows me away, right? Mm. Is we've had how many cases officially? Like in Zambia, over a thousand, right? Mm. And in the thousand cases, we how many deaths? Seven. Right? Seven deaths, right? Yes. Of which a good number of people argue and say it's not really COVID, it's like underlying, underlying, underlying. Mm. So that raises a question what are we doing? like what 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 is zambia doing that's so powerful you know better than italy better than you know france uk mm. and of course the usa what are we doing that's so uniquely different here in zambia so that's some food for thought well uh, this is not the breakfast show so we don't do calls and people call in and start giving their comments we're just <laughs> thinking we're just ranting with my brother here yeah you know trying to figure out a few things very 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 interesting and uh, so it's been a very interesting weekend. And my man, <laughs> oh, he was very angry with me, by the way, but I have to say this. Okay. Uh, Chela Tukuta <laughs> has been doing some interesting revelations on his page, which I think are extremely interesting to watch. Uh, and, and I think those of you that are bored and 
are looking for some interesting twists please go on his page and hear what he has to say again which proves my point that somebody in the information dissemination department within the powers that be need to not the powers between within the people in charge needs to do some serious work mm. in countering the 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 sentiment the negative sentiment in the air there's too much negativity True. right now so so for me i think somebody has to do a lot of work you know like they have to go into overtime with serious countering of all the discontent and anger mm. so the chinese are in charge of us uh, sudanese are processing our gold and french people are going to tell us how to instruct <laughs> <laughs> you just had to sum it up like that okay <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy dude wow. Anyway, we don't do politics. This is not so. Everything I've mentioned is not politics. This no. is just purely it's life. Just, it's there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just there. Yeah. And of course, uh, the minister and the other minister have got COVID-19, mm. so they're in isolation. Mm. Oh, shame. That's why there's no too much hard work. How I was about to say, how are you going to get the information? Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought they started having somebody else come to do the. Info. I don't watch those things. Remember, I told you I never sit to watch any news, yeah. including updates. So I don't know how it's going on. So are they doing updates? Uh, they do. I think they did one on yesterday. So who was speaking? Uh, was it Simon Mitty? Yes. Oh, the, yes. the secretary. Took yes, yes, yes. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he'd, he'd do it. They're switching job. them between, I think, and the other organization. You can't remember the name. Ah, I see. I see. Mm. Uh, anything exciting? No. It's the usual. New cases? Uh, there were cases yesterday, yes. A high number. What number? I think yesterday that's when we got the revelation of the whole 1,000 because we didn't know that figure. 1,057? Yeah. <laughs> Something close to that. Oh, man. Anyway, I, so... It doesn't surprise anyone anymore. No, it no. does not. Not in the least, you dude. I'm, I'm not even trembling here. I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, 1,000. The time they said uh, 18, 20... Yeah, we're, then we were, we're freaking out because, of you know? course, we thought we had Ebola yeah. on our hands. Yeah. You know, so we were like, God, people are going to die. Oh, my God, I'm so freaked out. But then when it got into the hundreds and then nobody was dying or dropping dead like uh, expected and and then you know all the people in the companies are just going on about their life like mm. like there's no covid whatsoever I mean, have you been to town center i have you know i mean have you seen the buses it's it's it's, it's ridiculous it's blocker uh, c conductors even lend masks to <laughs> to <laughs> for one quarter they just lend you no like there valan coins had to pay to pay by inspector yeah yeah who does that like who lend somebody their mask you know so either either there's no covid or whatever is going around is not what we think it is mm. that's my views but then these are the views of rev just doing a rant don't take me seriously i'm not a doctor i'm not an expert i know nothing about statistics or how diseases spread i don't even know how this whole thing works so it's just me giving my opinions which obviously don't mean much so let's go into our guest for today we have a person that's actually not a stranger on our show. She's mm -hmm. been here before, and uh, she's 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 a great uh, person. I've actually really I had a great time having a was that almost uh, I can't remember. I think 2018. So yeah, one year ago, two years ago, almost July or, or thereabout. And we were we, we she had an event coming up, and it was so awesome. I think they did a great job with that event and 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 of course so many people were just pushed in new directions i think she uh, at the last event that she did which i had the privilege of attending albeit at the end um uh, i think there was an envelope that was just taken to another notch i was so impressed to see what was there so the events industry in this country is transforming so of course nobody was expecting COVID-19 mm. you know so COVID-19 came and really changed stuff around eh uh but either way she's had a, a very strong background in, in 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 this area of events in fact uh let me let me let me let me give a bit of her uh, of her background i miss advanced diploma south african school of weddings uh, events coterie johannesburg south africa cim certificate in events management and event academy in london 2018 zavian cotez flowers school 2018 stand big bank anakazi entrepreneurship training and zambia standard bank anakazi's business and learning trip Fran uh, in Paris, France. So, and then she's had a lot of clients, um, had very, very illustrious uh, event gigs 
with some of the leading brands in the country as well as government and of course NGOs. So she does have quite a bit of uh, some clout in the industry and today it gives me awesome great pleasure once again to bring to the show the one and only Madame Chisala Kapepula Simachambela. You're most welcome ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> the way you make it sound, <laughs> I feel like a hero. Yeah, right. <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. And that's the truth. <laughs> so, Chisala, it's mm. been a while, eh? In yeah. fact, if I last recall, uh, when you came here, there was so much that was coming ahead of you. Uh, if I recall, you had a very big very prestigious event that was going to be happening in i think june of that year or whatever something in line with the um i think some of the people that you brought to your event that came here in zambia were going to be hosting something very prestigious i think there was something in sweden and then or wherever it is in europe and then also in livingston and the livingston one uh i remember when we looked at those prices everybody just went <laughs> <laughs> that's how that topic ended <laughs> like all the ambitions to go to that event just finished <laughs> on the ticket prices i'm yeah. not kidding listeners those ticket prices were quite restrictive but obviously it tells you the caliber mm. yeah. of people that were going to be going to that event it wasn't riffraff or kambwangas as we say here in zambia <laughs> yeah that that's for sure <laughs> that's for sure and uh besides that also you had um obviously lined up the next business of events event yeah. which was i think to take place around this time no april, a month actually. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah april mm -hmm. i remember because we did schedule something on my show yeah. and then of course we had the side swipe covid yeah. now just tell us a bit first before covid where 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 things were as far as events are concerned with you yeah well nobody planned for covid obviously None. and um before covid i really think that um, I'll look at the gap between the last business of events and the one that should have taken place or will take place in future. Yes. Um, there was just more collaboration, more networking, um, healthy competition in the event industry. Okay. Yeah. And um, people really started appreciating um, education. I think so. Knowledge, exposure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people started to appreciate that. Yeah. And so... I'll speak for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I started all the planning for the next business of events, which, which should have been on 15th of April. April yeah. I remember. We even scheduled our show. Yes, I think before. we should have had a, a, an interview yes. like just, a, two just weeks just before. Correct, yeah, correct, yeah. And um, I mean, we were looking at international news and thinking, oh, no, this is not for us, you know? Yeah, true. Yeah. We started in, in, in China, we're like, oh, this will be mm -hmm. like H1N1, this yes. will be like SARS, this will yeah. be like MERS. It won't get to us. Yeah, in and I mean, think we carried on with business as usual mm -hmm. and we even started booking clients like you know corporate wow. social clients mm. you know as far into maybe august wow yeah my wow. calendar sh was actually full for march april and may are you serious yeah yeah it was Jeez. full and the wake-up call for me came when a colleague that we were discussing um a certain wedding with and um he phoned and said they've cancelled the wedding mm. that was like march 15th somewhere there. yes because yeah and actually this wedding the should have been like on the third of may yeah because the first yeah. the first official address if you like from the minister of health yeah. was on the 18th of march i always remember because it was a day before my birthday yeah. so it was wednesday 18th of march mm. and that's when they told us it's official yeah. how many cases do we have three yes. yeah we started yeah. with three yeah. three yeah. people <laughs> have got covid in and they're like jeez yeah. yeah. it's here <laughs> the family from that's the not fun yeah. Yeah. the family from absolute that went to france for god knows yes. how long yeah like everybody yeah. was like hey, those people really suffered eh? yeah. social media like why why <laughs> Holiday for 10 days. out of all places yeah, yeah. you know and then and then well as if that wasn't bad then we had the pakistanis yes. now yeah. they really took it to a whole other level <laughs> anyway go on. yeah so um, a colleague phoned and said oh you know that wedding for um first may it's been cancelled wow. like what and that was even before the address huh mm. yeah because you say 15th, yes it means like, there wasn't even no it's yet. been cancelled what do you mean it's been cancelled like no it's just actually completely cancelled because of covid wow. i think first for me reality hit then 
really did. Yes, huh? it did hit for me then because I know how much that client should have paid. Sure. I know how emotionally invested I was into that yeah, event. Yeah. I, I was ready to move my whole crew to Livingstone and um, you know they so it was one of those big, the big weddings, ones right? it yeah. was a big one yeah. it wasn't it wasn't these two my small ones where you say let me pass it to let's pass it to a <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> hi dear do you have some what's your calendar looking yeah. like I'm passing you a gig <laughs> yeah. yeah so for yeah, me reality shame. hit then and mm. um now I started thinking mm. because of maybe being connected with other international colleagues yes. and how they were dealing with things because they had yeah, already you, yes, started yes. writing about how to deal with it, how to deal with clients. I'm thinking At that of time, Kelvin, your guy, Kelvin. Yes, and yeah, ben. yeah. They had already started blogging about how to deal with yeah, COVID weddings yeah, and you know yeah. cancellations. Because where's Kelvin based? He's in Zimbabwe. Oh, so he's actually in Zim. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I thought he was actually mm. not in Zim. I thought yeah. he was in UK he's actually or US. Now in Zim. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think those are one of those days that I just didn't get out of my pajama. For real, yeah. eh? Because for me, reality hit. I knew what was coming. If this wedding was cancelled, I know then that tomorrow change. someone else is going to call, yes. and the next day. Yes. And I mean, I opened my email. A corporate client just said, "Oh, you know that event postponed until further, further notice." notice. Yeah, I had some gigs yeah. lined up and as a speaker. Yeah. I had a training with one client. We're going to do three days at mm. in, in uh, Siavonga. Then I had another client yeah. who, in fact, three churches mm. that were going to bring me in for as resource, mm-hmm. uh, like three weekends yeah. in a row. And then I also had, uh, we had also, we were bringing in some guests. Mm-hmm. In fact, we even paid for that. Yeah. Like we paid hotels and mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. So we've kept the money there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like we're going to come in and do a whole weekend on the 21st of March. Yeah, yeah but everybody, because yeah. when South Africa went into lockdown, mm-hmm. they, were, they, were, they were like, mm, you know what? Yeah. We're not coming because mm-hmm. we might end up being locked into quarantine yes. when we come back yeah. from, from, from Zambia. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. Man. So I, I think it was just, you know, it really, really hit home for me. Mm. And then now I had to think of my event. What, what am I going to do? People have started paying. They paid. We have bought air tickets for our speakers. And then the airline industry also looks like yes. it's not recovering. Yeah. Man, uh, we had signed contract uh, with a venue. Yeah. So well, which venue are you using? The same? Uh, yes. We would have yeah. used the same. Yeah, but, but there's a rumor that they sold all their. But that was before all <laughs> this. <laughs> Copy. But did they, but, did they, but yeah. they didn't. Oh, anyway, that, that yeah. you were like partnering with them. Yes, so, we were okay, partnering yeah, so, with them. Yeah. yeah, so it's not too yeah. bad. So I now had to put myself together. I'm telling and that's one of the things that as an event professional, mm-hmm. whether you like it or mm-hmm. not, because you're an emotional buffer for a lot of other people. Agreed. In as much as you're dealing with your own emotions as a business, as an individual, you still have to handle the emotions of your clients. Especially the like weddings. I'm thinking the yes. bride and all the things that can technically go yes. wrong. And yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so then, all right. So what did you now begin to put in place? Like, okay. Yeah. So how did you transition to where you are now? What, 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 what was that? Walk us through the metamorphosis mm. to bring you here. Of course, after news, we'll talk about where you're headed now. But yeah. Just like to bring you to where you are. Mm. Because I, I have another dear colleague and friend of mine who I call my sister, um, who who actually came on the show and 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 really, really gave it us. It, mm. it was quite hard. But but she was just being real because mm. she also explained that for her, I think she's at a at quite a high level mm. in events. Uh and, and she's done international gigs as well. She even is on a retainer on a number of clients. Mm-hmm. And what has kept her to this day is the retainer. Yeah. Because everything else yeah. has shut down. Yeah. And it was very hard. She yeah. actually said it was it was insane. Mm. It is insane. It is. Still is. Tell us the reality of, of the tourism industry and what this is doing. Because I realize mm. you're linked to the tourism. Yes. And I never realized how 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 big your industry yeah. is until COVID. <laughs> That's when it really <laughs> sunk in, you know, hotels, yeah. restaurants, you guys, yeah. events, every form of event, yeah. conferences, and then you've got the pleasure conferences, you've got the business conferences, yeah. all gone. Yeah. All gone. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, everyone in the event space is affected. Yeah. To the smallest person, True. to the stationary maker. 
you know, the person who's making invitation cards, yes. they are all affected. Graphics. The flower farms. The flower farms. Yes. Tell me about the flower, the flower farms. The flower farms who have always exported the flowers yes. we've always wanted. Yes. Yeah. Now, there's no airlines to Take send the out. Flowers. Yeah. So now we have to buy the, the flowers. But, I'll, I'll but I'll we don't have the events to buy the flowers for. For. Yeah. But I know mm. I watched something very interesting. I watched Kenya Airways using their airline, their plane, as a cargo plane, including where people sit. Yeah, but we don't even have an airline. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> End of the topic. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah. So it's, it's really, really, really hit home and, and, for and everyone. And let, let me ask you, Chisala, mm-hmm. what, what do you think it'll do? Will our airline industry, local, Mm-hmm. recover from this because i'm aware that one of them literally ground yeah i don't know if the other one's still flying mm. but i'm really wondering what the story is there because you're that's your space yeah um i think it's a 50 50 situation they may recovery i don't know because i mean i'm listening to international news and hearing what they're saying mm. they're talking about recovery in 2023 that's easy today on the news you know they're cutting down to 30 percent it means four thousand jobs lost those are the bigger ones what about us yeah yeah man that's yeah. some scary what stuff what about us yeah. So, mm-hmm. all right. So anyway, there it is. It's, mm-hmm. it's in our face. There's nothing we can do. So walk me through mm-hmm. what you've had to do as far as your income, as far yeah. as your your sustenance. What's mm-hmm. going on with your workers? Because you've got a whole team around yeah. you. How how have you handled that? Yeah, it's been very very tough. Um, mm. I would say that maybe the one thing that has saved me mm-hmm. is my contracts. Uh, yeah, and which is advice that I keep giving to anyone who's upcoming. Mm-hmm. Please make sure that your contract favors you as a business mm-hmm. and your client. So none of you lose. Explain, please. So you have to agree a certain percentage that you with, you have to withhold. Yes, yes, yes. And if, then if, if, if in case of an They have to weigh the options whether to let you keep that money or to stick with you. True. Um, so and, most have stuck. Most are like, okay, yeah. let's just see where this thing goes. Yes. I'm telling you. Yeah, most of them have So, so, so tell us, just for the sake of understanding, mm-hmm. when, when did that part, when did that dawn on you? When did you get to learn? What event or what in- incident in your past mm-hmm. got you to learn that this is very important, this needs to be done, and therefore you've put that as a, as, as a, as a system for engagement yeah i I think that in the event events are very sensitive things even Mm. if it wasn't covid Mm. it could have been a death true it could be a breakup it could be riots it could be anything yeah Yeah. breakups happen we're called off the wedding yeah i've had clients who've cancelled like a week before and just say oh no we're not getting married why and so those are (laughs) things that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> over time i have learned to adjust my contract mm. as i go like this so tell thing me a bit about that in. one now yeah. how, how do you uh, what what have you adjusted i'm not asking for specifics but mm-hmm. i'm just saying what clauses have you put to safeguard yourself because there's obviously somebody out there listening and going oh yeah so what what have what what do you do what have you done in your clauses that mm. ensures that you're safe right now it's act of god that now? has been reinforced Wow. Yeah, because those, it's not my fault that this is happening. Oh, so you do have an act of God yes. as part of your... Yes. Yeah, so that means yeah. earthquakes. Uh, so cancellations, I mean, what are the terms for cancelling? You can't just cancel on me. True. You I've know, seen, I've seen, I've seen actually all the, all yeah. the hotels have, yeah. have 28 days, 50% yes. and yeah. 14 days, yeah. 100%, yeah. no refund. Because mm-hmm. you have to pay 14 exactly. days in advance yeah. before... Uh-huh. I see. So yeah. you got something similar. Yeah. So cancellations, act of God, um, lack of payment within a specific period of time because mm-hmm. I have to then now get the supplies that I need. But if someone yeah. doesn't pay up to this certain date, we'll so what? What's your contract. normal? Uh, uh, um, uh, what, what? What do you normally ask for? Twenty-one days, fourteen days. What, what's your fourteen days? Fourteen days before yes. the event, huh? Yes. Fourteen working days or fourteen days? Fourteen days? working days, and oh. that is because That's weddings are so days. fragile. Extremely. So be- within that time, I'm able to either walk away or they can walk away. Really? Yeah. Really. I have to protect myself. <laughs> <laughs> but also, um, each business 
must understand how their market works. Yeah. This has worked for me. It might yeah. not work for someone else. No, of course, but I mean, yeah. we're talking in the business of mm. events, so of course we have yeah. to be real. Yeah. So let me throw this back to my man. Mm. We're about to do the news. I see my sister, Mona Kalma, in the studio. So she's going to come and do her thing, and then we're going to pick it up right afterwards, and let's talk about where we head to. Mm. Back to you, ma'am. All right. A few more minutes coming up at 19 is the headlines, and after that, we continue with Prosperity Insights. Ah, oh no, it's the school holidays. So? How are we going to keep the kids busy? It's okay. We have Go TV. The kids will keep themselves entertained all day. Listen, they're already watching. Does that mean we get to sleep in? Yep, the holidays just became the Hollyays. Keep the kids entertained by bringing their favorite characters home for the Hollyays. Stay tuned to Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Jim Jam, Da Vinci, and more for the best kids entertainment on Go TV. Go TV, live it, love it. Radio reinvented. The only thing better than listening to your number one for news and entertainment is watching it. That's right. Watch your favorite hot FM shows from wherever you are in the world on the Mingletainment app. Match and make friends with cool people from across the globe based on your music preferences. Listen to podcasts of news and interviews. Interact directly with the radio jockeys by sending them pics, voice notes, and videos. Stand a chance to win fabulous prizes by entering the many competitions on the app and if you need a place to hang out with mates check out the Mingletainment joints and enjoy some cool discounts download Mingletainment from your app store and let's get mingling exclusive to Hot FM number one for news and entertainment the news headlines every second hour are powered by Hot FM the headlines at 19 the Council of Churches in Zambia is citing that police officers in Zambia have continued to use live ammunition to disperse aggrieved uh, crowds like the recent case in Nakonde district of Mchinga province. The opposition New Hope Movement for Multi-Party Democracy said they are willing to advise the PF on how to dismantle Zambia's debt for free. Senior Chief Bukuni of the Tokalea people of Southern Province has advised MPs from Western Province to stand with the Barossa Royal Establishment in rejecting Bill 10 and ensure that it does not see the light of the day in Parliament. Mozambique's interior minister says Islamist militants carrying out attacks in the north have been wearing regular army uniforms and using drones to identify their targets. And finally, in sports news, the Premier League is set to restart on uh, 17th June with Aston Villa taking on Sheffield United and Manchester City versus Arsenal, the BBC has learned. Stay tuned for the main bulletin coming up at 20 hours. Zambia's award-winning and most trusted news and entertainment provider. Consistently delivering unrivaled world-class radio 24-7, 365. We are Hot FM. Everybody want know why I fall in love with you. But I tell them, say you are made from real fruits Right now you come and then you make me feel so cool I'm feeling happy cause I'm sipping on you Yeah, oh baby Pour me happy Happy apple Happy grapple Happy pan Pour me happy Pour me happy apple Happy Grapple, Happy Pie. The amazing happy range of Happy Apple, Happy Grapple, and Happy Pine. Have an happy day. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> and we were having a very, very interesting conversation. We have our guest, Chisala uh, Smachambele. She's a proprietor, founder, creative director of pinnacle creations i didn't mention the name of the company before but she's not a new person here on the show we've had it before uh though i'll bait a while back but very very interesting conversation we're having and we we're just talking she was just giving us a bit of a rundown on what's going on in the industry especially from her angle and now t- uh, let's talk a bit about uh, downscaling about uh restructuring how's that working for you yeah so 
<coughs> obviously with uh, lesser income mm. you as an as an event professional you have to think how best you're going to survive yeah because um you know during my downtime oh. and when i say downtime is when i was thinking the world was upside down <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean everybody's like everyone taking, is taking canceling, this really hard, everyone eh? is you know mm. i thought to myself that look even if i go bankrupt today mm. what is the one thing that will keep me going mm. i think it's the passion that i have for what i do correct yeah and because yours is a passion yeah uh, and a, so a passion. yeah i put myself together and said you know what i have to get up and show up mm -hmm. yeah and um i had to think now do i need to maintain my office space that's a good question. Yeah. Do I need to maintain my That's office space? That's a good question. Do I need to keep my employees? Jeez. Because um, I have legal labor obligations. Correct. Yeah. Because these are on payroll. The, yes. So it's not, there's NAPSA, there's ZRA, there's, not, yeah, there's all of that. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that we're not getting any funding from government or any waivers as entrepreneurs. Yeah, very um, different from our friends in, yeah. say, Europe, Sweden, yes. yeah. UK. Yeah, I have friends who are sitting at home and getting paid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I, have, I have a sister in Sweden yeah. that actually, she works uh, three hours and uh, nine of the other hours that she's supposed to work. She doesn't, and yeah. the government pays for the nine hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so, very different. I had to really think through things and... Um, one of the things is probably give up my office space. I'm still able to hold on to it, mm. but in the long run, I may not hold on to it because I have to keep evaluating the situation True. as it unfolds. True. Um, also because as entrepreneurs, sometimes your company image is very, very important. And the in moment fact, I go and do my business back. from Just the take, kitchen. Take that back. <laughs> Not sometimes. All, All the, time. the time. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, especially yeah. for the kind of corporate brand that you're dealing yes. with. Because yeah. I've seen your portfolio. It's, yeah. it's, um, it's like my sister, the other lady that was here. Mm. So there's, 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 there's a certain level of uh, presence yes. you must have. Yeah, so yeah, you can't afford to... It's really evaluating and seeing, okay, should I keep this space? And for my staff, you won't believe that I just gave them new contracts. Wow. And so it means that if I cancel them, I have to pay them in full. The gratuity. So, it's it's, do you do one year gratuity or three year gratuity? Uh, two years. Oh, you do they two have years. two year contracts. Sure. Yeah, so it's a pickle. And so um, right now I have decided to hold on to everything. Mm -hmm. I'm hopeful that things will be okay. To be honest, yeah. between me and you, to be honest, mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm obviously not an expert. So I'm just speaking this purely mm -hmm. from the whims of my imagination. <laughs> Man from the streets. Yeah, so no, so none, no, no, no expert opinion here. Mm -hmm. Just me thinking. I don't see this lockdown in all honesty going beyond August. Just, just can't happen. Even July is a, it's a tall yeah. stretch because we're not seeing the dead people in the streets. That's the number yeah. one thing. There's just mm -hmm. no deaths on the streets. That's bit number one. Then number two the pressure because even south africa with all their advancement are now yielding to pressure yeah. they, they, i mean when they say churches are opening in south africa, i was like <laughs> whoa south africa because yeah. this is a country which was literally on a complete mm -hmm. lockdown so all these essential services were running but everything was on lockdown and everybody is easing up so i think that's a big a big sign yeah but i think it's still 50 50 because um people have lost their jobs People see, who the, run their businesses, the their normal, businesses, the new normal. Yes, like things are never gonna things are go not going back to be to the same. Were, yes. And so That's we are going fact. to see a lot of downsizing yes. with events. Yes, uh, you won't believe that I did a wedding yesterday for twenty people. I'm not surprised because I attended a wedding for a very close friend yeah. of mine who does. Uh, he's a manager of musicians and stuff, mm. and he did a wedding and there were forty. Yeah, me included. Yes, <laughs> it yeah. was so weird and it was one hour long. I mean, yeah. I was like. It was such a mind But job, if eh? you think of it, like where I'm coming from, mm. weddings for 20 people is not something that is sustainable. Meaning? It's not profitable for me. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Thank you for the clarity. Yeah. It's not <laughs> profitable numbers. for me. Yes, because yeah. the numbers. The numbers. But, but, but we watch those weddings on, um, on, on, on uh, you know, our friends in Europe and what have yeah. you. They are very, very small ceremonies, like 50 people. Yeah. But it's really... Very lavish. Yes. Yeah, but I don't think if someone decides that they're going to go to Civic Center and they're going yeah. to have lunch, they're not going to spend... No. 
no. a lot of money. No. Yeah. And then as Africans, we're very, very showy, isn't yeah. it? So you want to bring the whole clan from Winilunga yes. and what have you. Yeah. So so that's 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 going to be tough, huh? Yes. So so do you honestly think that? Um, so let's talk about the new normal because that's mm-hmm. what I want to now get into. Yeah. What are your adjustments? What are you doing? What are you foreseeing and what are you preparing for? with this new normal because yeah. like you say that one thing you mentioned actually there's another gentleman we're with on the show and we spoke we went really far with that mm-hmm. uh, one area for example i see personally that's going to be hit very very hard is real estate mm-hmm. office space yeah. is going to really suffer for mm-hmm. the longest of times the only people that are going to make money are the speculators the mm-hmm. investors from out the country they build these offices yeah. and they don't have any minds of fr- profits now yeah. they look at five years ten years because there's a very strong uh, belief that a lot of European and American companies may headquarter in Africa or may have operational offices in Africa because mm. of the, the the easier you know conditions over here, yeah. rentals, cost of living. So we may see that shift. But other than that, for mm. the for the people right now, it's rough. Yeah, remote working is going to become the thing of the yes. day. So you tell me from your own end, mm-hmm. what 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 are the implications? Are we going to see ourselves going back to those big meetings with 500 people you know events and stuff are we ever going to go back i I don't see that happening for because also even if the lockdown is like right now it's open 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 Mm. we are also humans who think a certain way that's so true we've been so conditioned by the fear we think a certain way some some of the events that i had already planned Mm. were like a hundred people and someone just decides that they can't even bring it down to 50 because 50 is like okay that's just half of what you should have had (laughs) so why can't we just carry on you know (laughs) and then also like for the event space it's because of also traveling yeah yeah that that, i think for me that's the biggest hit for my maybe like i would say 50% 50% of my clients come from outside. Yes. So that is why I'm sort of on a standstill. Mm-hmm. I had a bride who had to cancel because she can't fly in for her own wedding. Oh, shame. Yeah. Wow. So it's it affects every angle. Hmm. It affects every angle. But the new normal, first of all, we have to start adjusting to smaller events. Yeah. Whether we like it or not. I mean, we're already adjusting. Yeah. I'm almost now getting used to elbow bumps and stuff. Yeah. Something which was completely mm. unreal because handshake was the thing in Africa. And we did, in Zambia, we do the ka three handshake, you know, ta, ta, ta. <laughs> and then we even do the ka hug. Yes. So, so all those, all those type of brotherly hugs are like finished. Hey, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Man, this thing. Yeah. This so. thing. Whoever brought this thing, one day needs a touch. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, so I'm imagining. Yeah, they, so the I mean, gregarious, they, loud African yeah, weddings are like those may not take place anytime soon. Uh, sometimes they were very big because people had to travel from outside of Zambia. Yes, yes. All the from clan comes in, towns and, yes, and, so, and so, on. so So you've got bookings for yes, lodges and hotels. Yes, yes. I had a friend of mine, by the mm. way. This is interesting. We talk mm. about that. There's a colleague of mine. He's a colleague. And I recently took a small little training gig I had. Mm. We had to train some people. And so we, we called his place and he was able to, you know, at short notice because we couldn't find anything. Mm-hmm. And so we went over and did an event at his place. And when, when the f- event was over, we came and we started chatting and he was saying, we're considering leasing this place. Mm. We're suffering here. Yeah. This, this is rough. We, we've never seen this kind of dryness and that's yeah. a lot eh? mm. and they're, they're in a very prime location very strategically located uh, done recent works they've expanded and he was telling me we're done we get into we get into may we're seriously considering mm. to lease this just yeah. close everything and then lease it i was like wow yeah that's heavy yeah it's, <laughs> that's it's, heavy it's really tough mm-hmm. yeah it's really tough i'm it's telling really you tough. Yeah. so the other thing that could probably help us mm. is um, collaborations. Yeah, this is time. the one thing that is going to save you. So your relationships with other vendors, because they are the ones who refer you. They are the ones who will say, "Who's doing your photography? Who's doing what?" Yeah, and they'll stick your neck, you know, like stick their neck out for you. Yes, you know, and say, "Please, you know, I've got this person," and so on. And also because the events are going to be smaller, it's going to be more referral. I don't yeah. think social media is something that is really going to sell you. It may, but it's all about what service are you going to provide? Yeah. Because people now have to think twice whether, you know, should they be paying you so much? 
I agree with yeah. you because even the other lady actually mm. mentioned that she's she doesn't even have a Facebook mm. or maybe she does now, but she hinted that all yeah. her work has been purely hundred percent referral. referral. Yeah. Like totally. Yeah. And uh, she does some pretty decent. Well, she was doing mm. decent numbers mm. uh, before that, but it was all referral. It was yeah. all this one saying, "Oh yeah, that one," <laughs> yeah. and that, that's just a whole network. So mm. you got a little closed network, yeah. and you all refer to one another. Yeah. So I think you also have to bring your A game now. <sighs> you have to re-strategize. Mm-hmm. You have to rethink. You have to be more and more innovative. Mm-hmm. You can't do. We can't do what we did before. Okay. So let's let's yeah. let's go into that. Mm. So let's start with the A game. What's yeah. the A game? The A game is now th- thinking how best can you meet the new needs. What are the new needs? Um, the events will be smaller, but how are you going to make them still look like serious on a budget? Yeah. You know? And make how money. Are you, and make money at the same time. Wow. And also because now if I'm going to do an event for 20 people, I must please them so that those mm. 20 people go and tell another 20 people. I'm telling you. And also because now it's going to be so family oriented, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it means that if you deliver it's properly, you've got it the means whole family. yes, anything that will happen in that family yeah. is yours. That's true. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. So you spoke about strategy. So what's mm. the strategy for somebody out there, for yourself, yeah. for people in your industry? What's your strategy now in view mm. of these very drastic changes? Ah. Uh. I, I must go back to saying it's now about restructuring because at the end of the day, I still must make some money. Yeah. Yeah. So don't you mm. think, this is just me thinking out loud and throwing this back to you, then you mm. guiding. So don't you think the idea of getting every one of your staff, mm. yeah, it's just it's a pity you said you already got them on contracts, but getting them on, um, so even for workers, you don't have a an act of God <laughs> kind of thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if Pinnacle Creations closed, but Rave, you it know, doesn't matter. Contract you know, my husband con- is in HR. I know. Yeah. And the moment yeah. I say anything, he's like, Cap so and so says yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm one of those law abiding employers, <laughs> you know? <laughs> But he also it, 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 it works. Yeah, it, it helps and, a lot. Yeah, and he keeps updating me like, "Oh, this has changed. So can you change this? Now mm. you are safe and so on." Yeah, because mm. you know why I am asking this? Because, mm. for example, for those of us who are in marketing, I am in marketing. Mm. We run a pretty, you know, tight ship in the marketing space. And one of the things that I found very interesting for us in the marketing and sales space mm. is that salespeople are agents. We don't yeah. bring them in as employees mm. because of the fluctuating commissions. So we found uh, after really doing a lot of research and really touching base with everybody around the industry, we found that employing salespeople is a nightmare Mm -hmm. because it puts a lot of strain and the money that you make is almost impossible because you pay a very, very large amount to them. Mm -hmm. So what, what was actually opted Mm -hmm. is agents Mm -hmm. So we went. We were told that the agency model works better because yeah. then they are not your employees. You 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 just literally hire them for their service yeah. and then pay them a lump sum. And so when it comes to taxes and what have you, you have the tip in. You you indicate mm-hmm. that to ZRA, but that's their baby. Yeah. It's not yours. Um, I think it's a bit appeal because it can work, but for my line, mm-hmm. uh, these are people that I've invested in. I'm telling you. And the day I say they're an agent, they're going to be freelancing for everyone. Uh, you know what I mean? And then so I the have, at least for you, now, I you've know You've got a lot of inner, little secret uh, insider things yes. going on. Yeah. yeah, I hear you. I so hear for you. now, I think I... I no, I in fact, for me, I think you've just nailed it. Yeah. You've answered it completely. It's mm. not possible yeah. in your space yes. to do that. Yeah. Okay, but no, that it's, it's possible. I know of colleagues in South Africa who... Yeah, but South Africa... one-man shop. No, but South Africa is different. You know why I say so? Yeah. That economy, have you ever, I mean, we all know the numbers mm. of South Africa. They're crazy. They yeah. are, you can't even compare our economy to. Yeah. Uh, I think the other day we were actually mentioning that just the financial sector alone mm. in South Africa is more than the entire Southern Africa combined. Mm. So they don't even bring South Africa into yeah. the numbers for Southern Africa mm. because when you bring South Africa, you distort the numbers yeah. and you no longer have the truth. So South Africa is a different yeah. Chinyama. And then the rest of us are a different one. So I think that economy, because I've even looked at even, for example, people in my space Mm -hmm. in South Africa, it's totally different for them. I mean, they can afford to have 5,000 rand events 
and they're sold out yeah and then sell coaching for 20 to 30 thousand mm-hmm. rands per person yeah hundred thousand rands mm. that can happen in south africa mm. not yeah. not in zambia yeah. <laughs> so talk t- tell me a bit about that event of yours the one that was internationally ticketed who, who were your guests at that the livingstone one mm, the livingstone <laughs> one that had some crazy prices the current run masterclass that's what it was uh-huh. so, well, yeah. so okay so current run is an international brand mm-hmm. uh, she's done birthdays for people like opera mm-hmm. um, she's done at least private weddings you know you they, told me that weddings in the mountains yes and some crazy those stuff. private weddings that uh, on some the blogs castle. and gossip columns yes, and yes those kinds yeah wow. yeah so obviously because she's a brand and she attracts a certain amount mm-hmm. so the tickets had to be a certain amount but you your yeah. your, your, your people that were attending that were mm. obviously at that level isn't it yes yeah so most of them are probably like already experienced and they mm. really want to learn a few more things from her yeah because that is just a different investment altogether i agree yeah it's a different investment altogether and so we had um, i think some people coming from rwanda mm-hmm. we had actually southern africa come in wow yeah uh, we had um, remind me what your ticket price was again three thousand nine hundred dollars and that's not inclusive of accommodation no. is it when like Simbi. No, yeah. but you know, w- let me just probably justify it a bit. No, I'm no, no, I'm not arguing. <laughs> no, I'm agreeing <laughs> totally with you. I mean, even if they paid ten thousand, I know it's totally why people feel like it, it. I know a lot of people felt like it's a lot of money, but because I was in the background work, mm-hmm. I saw what was happening. Mm-hmm. We had flowers coming from Holland. And it's so funny. It was the flowers that would be exported from here to Holland yes. and then come back. From yeah, we had flowers that came stuff. in from Holland. Mm-hmm. We had. I've never seen so many flowers. For I mean, real? if you've seen the pictures, I think one centerpiece is the budget of one wedding here. Ma, 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 ma. One floral arrangement. Mm. Yeah. And that's your space, huh? Yes. <laughs> so it was quite something, huh? Yes. Amazing yeah. stuff. Anyway, I love mm. that. I, I think for me, it's so interesting. I find it so interesting to interview people like you because it shows me another side and the opportunities. We, we are perpetual optimists yeah. here on prosperity insights we never ever 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 it, that's why even if i joke about what's going on in the country especially now it's still not from a complaining standpoint mm-hmm. but from a bewilderment standpoint <laughs> in other words there's so much opportunity why are we in this particular area but i'm very very happy with what you're doing and i i really genuinely um sounds a bit uh religious here but i genuinely pray mm. that we you know this time that you're going through is shortened but even more i i i pray that you guys in your space will find a way to adapt because i believe every situation uh, when you have this kind of drastic transformation comes with adaptation yeah. and those who adapt go on to become yeah. billionaires because yeah, <laughs> yeah, at the back of this are going to be some very very rich people yeah. And uh, for the events industry, I think, like you rightly put it, you have to innovate. Let's talk about innovation a bit, uh, even as we start to take the calls. My goodness, I forgot. Mm-hmm. Okay, calls, run the numbers. Mm-hmm. And I've got somebody that's been on standby waiting. I hope you get wow. through, Michello. <laughs> so <laughs> I've just mentioned you there, Michello Hamoya. I hope you get through. He's been saying he really wants to speak, you know, just wants to call you. Mm-hmm. So I hope he gets through. All right. The numbers are 974 870 That is 974 870 Oh, no call. All right. So let's talk about innovation a bit there. Yeah. Give, give me a few of your of your tips. What, what's, what, how do you innovate around events? It's so challenging. Mm-hmm. What, what, what are the innovations the in your space? The thing is to stop looking at what other people are doing. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Yeah. Because then you start to be original. Okay. Yeah. You start to be you and you start to sell you. Yes. But the moment 24-7 you're feasting on what other people are doing, it doesn't build you. Agreed. Yeah. And then furthermore, what else can they do in this space and time? Oh. Okay, we got a call. Okay. Hello, you're through to Prosperity Insights. What's your question? Who are we speaking to? How are you? Good. Who, who is being Aubrey to? on the line? Aubrey, well, go yes. ahead. Go ahead with your question, comment, or contribution. We have Madam Chima Simachambela on the show. Okay, my comment is: I think in this country we've got a lot of people that are going through difficulties. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I don't know how we can partner with you, Lev, mm-hmm. to help them understand how they can evaluate their business where they are now mm-hmm. and move on. That's one. Two. That's very good. Is to help people understand how to apply for loans from the banks. Mm-hmm. Because that's one area where we have a challenge. All people, they want to apply for loans, but they don't know how to put the papers together. We can come in and help out. But don't you think that currently, especially in Zambia, we've had a very, very, very bad (laughs) history of loan payment. In fact, to such an extent that I think even this loan that came from uh, the government that's supposed to be assisting has had a very big challenge in terms of uptake. What's your take on that, uh, Aubrey? I think um, I was listening to the bank governor last week. Mm-hmm. The challenge is not that there is poor uptake. Mm. The challenge is Bank of Zambia assessing those companies who wants to apply. Remember, the the bank governor mentioned that there is funds which is there. They are evaluating, but they have not yet started paying out. Mm. That's where the challenge is. Yeah, because, I mean, do you remember, you know our delinquency rate in this country is very bad, right? Correct. So, how does that help now, considering that the... I'll tell you one thing. Mm. The biggest problem we have in this country is how people borrow. Oh. People have to understand what they need. If you borrow less, you will not pay. If you borrow more, you will not pay because you overspend on things you don't need. You need to borrow what you need. Aubrey, we've got to get you on the show. Uh, you know, you've got my number? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> give me your number. Zero nine. <laughs> you've got it. You've said it. Later. Oh, okay. Fine, fine. Uh, don't forget to give me the number. All right. So, Aubrey, we're going to talk more. But uh, thanks for the comment. Uh, yeah. And obviously, Madam um, Chisala here is taking note. <laughs> <laughs> okay then okay thanks. i'll wait to hear from you sir you will hear from me immediately i'm very good at these things when i say i get in touch i do get in touch okay uh-huh i pride myself in that no probs awesome stuff thanks aubrey okay all right so let's take uh, more calls we still have a few minutes we can take more calls all right, you can give us a call right now on 974 870 877 You're through to Prosperity Insights uh, right here. How may we... Be, uh, sorry, who's who's on the line? Yeah, man. Let's see how may we be on assistant. Hello? Hello, thank you. Hi, who are we speaking to? Uh, Mijelo. No. Ah, the man who was trying to get through. Mind you, you sound funny. What, what? The line is breaking. Just, are you using one of those to my hands free ka earpiece uh, type thing? Yes, I was using hands free. Hey, now, wow, Naga. Kawa, it's <laughs> useless. Yes, now, we, now okay. I can hear you now. All Talk right. to uh, me, brother. Evening, Madam Sala. Evening, thank you. Okay, just just to add on, you know, um, it, it's really tough and everyone is feeling the, the heat. I'm one of those uh, people, uh, you know, uh, running. Uh, a small business yeah and uh, i'm i'm struggling in terms of you know uh negotiating with my vendors Mm -hmm. renters are not paid on time yeah and it's not everyone who's understanding to say uh things are but anyway just to to pick it up Mm -hmm. you know uh just add on what you were saying you know like for me i i I came up with the 12 month growth plan Mm. from the start of this year and it has gone in in in, in shrink mode it's gone mm-hmm. because of what is happening now mm. yeah so just to advise uh, my fellow uh, you know uh, people in business i i i started with uh, suspend shut down and sell off mm. yeah suspending unnecessary uh, of course unnecessary expenses, expenses cost yeah. and all that yeah, that's the first way to go. Mm. Yeah, then shutting down is shutting down on bigger projects that will yeah. take up your, your, you know. Then sell off. You sell off, uh, you know, non-performing assets. There are people that are still keeping things that can't even generate uh, an income at this time. Mm. So the best way, you know, 
you, you do that to conserve cash, your energies and reactivate, return the old plants is also a way to go. Yeah. Mm. Because we, we are now, this is not the time to panic. It's, it's actually the time to actually make a really, really bold, intelligent decision. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, like you said, it's the time to bring the A game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm inspired by your words, and I think, uh, yeah, uh, we talk over <laughs> our, our blue coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you <Absolutely>. so much. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks, Mr. Well, Anytime you see, so you come through. Huh? Sure, sure. Yeah. All right, my okay. brother. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sure. Oh, okay, cheers, cheers, cheers. So let's take more calls. Uh, we probably can take one more before we begin to do the wind down because Madam Chisala here has to do her, her wind down and conclusion. Uh, so anyway, come through. Let's take the call. You're through to Prosperity Insights. Your radio's on. Please switch it off. Hello? Hi. Uh, you're through to Prosperity Insights. Who are we speaking to? Teddy. Huh? Teddy. Teddy. I remember you from, is it two weeks ago, right? I believe Yes, go ahead, my brother. Question, comment, contribution. Uh, contribution. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate bit is, uh, personally, mm -hmm. um, I'm from Matero. Mm -hmm. And then my the youth my age are living a luxury life they can't afford. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. You know, you see people making more money, but they are living beyond their means. Yeah. So, uh, for instance, in my case, uh, I've been driving an Alteza. Mm -hmm. uh, unemployed, but I managed. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to trade it for a, a small piece of plant. Mm -hmm. Then there's a lot of booze coming from, you know, people around. Mm -hmm. You're going to grow old. Uh, how do you change from a luxury car to a van that looks like you're going to the farm? But my calculation, <laughs> they saved me right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I can push more and more programs. Mm -hmm. You know, I can carry, lift. I can even hide out to you if you want. Yeah. You know, yeah, for the small bit of things. But mm. for, for the out there, yeah, I think the only thing I can do with it is go clubbing, which is more mm. of a, an expense than a, a, a revenue that is coming in. You understand? Mm. 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 So, we need people to I don't know, educate. The problem is education is only in school. You understand people yeah. drop out of school they end up making money but they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. because there's no no one teaching entrepreneurship Mukombo, no one teaching entrepreneurship in the market yeah it's been tough. yeah you understand mm. okay great so, stuff huh yeah yeah thanks teddy we really appreciate your input and thanks for yeah, coming thank through you. and stay and listening. then if, if if you don't mind mm -hmm. i would like the the number of the lady you just talked to not the previous caller but the one before which one? If maybe you could ask her, then link her to me. I like the way she was talking. Oh, you mean our our guest? He, no, the guest. Yeah, the guest is good. Yeah. Big ups to her. But you are on the phone, I think, talking to a lady. No, the gentleman that just we never talked to any lady. It's been Aubrey, Michelle, oh, and yourself, Teddy. Yes. So oh, the that's wonderful. <laughs> 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 you must brew tea wonderful. as well. <laughs> I think oh. so. <laughs> I'm always looking to learn. <laughs> no, absolutely. No problem. No. In fact, I think we'll run her profile. She must have a, a page or something. She's one of those very well established in okay. terms of her, her presence. If you go on my page, in fact, if you go on my page on, on, uh, on, on, Facebook. on Facebook, look for Walter Mwambazi, not Rev Walter Mwambazi, but Walter Mwambazi, that's my profile. And then she tagged me there. So you'll see her name. I've tagged her as well. So so you can follow that and then message her and then you take it from there. Kindly assist me with your page. Walter Mwambazi. Well, no, my page okay. is Rev Walter Mwambazi, but my my page my profile is Walter Mwambazi. So one doesn't have the Rev, the other one does. So when you type, you'll see both will pop up. And then just go with any. Go right, on my wall you so and much. you should be have good to lovely evening. Thanks, Teddy. Have a good one. Thank you. So there you have it. Um, Chisala, your comments and uh, conclusion. Wow. Okay. In fact, let, let me say your parting words. <laughs> First comments, then conclusion. Okay. Um, 
I think this one is for the event professionals. Mm-hmm. We have to hang in there. Mm-hmm. Remember why you started. Mm-hmm. We've heard that saying before, but now it's reality. Remember why you started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, like I said, bring your A game, mm-hmm. be innovative. Mm-hmm. Um, like the other gentleman said, cut your costs. Yeah. I mean, what I said applies to me, but if it doesn't apply to you, go ahead and cut your costs as much as you can. Yeah. Um, the other thing is still get up and show up. Remain relevant in mm-hmm. the market space. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I know and how that do you do that? Because you guys have no events. So yeah. <laughs> and that was something that actually my other sister spoke about mm-hmm. as well. How do I how do remain you, showing yes. that I'm relevant when there are no events? So first of all, you can still pick posts from the past. Mm-hmm. That's one thing you can do. And write a good um, advice or notes for brides that are upcoming yeah. or people that are looking for events the other thing you could do is style shoots i've been doing style shoots okay what are like, style shoots where you just set do a setup for no one at all ah, yeah. yeah and then you do photos and yes then, yeah. so you must have a pretty good blog page as well as a. Uh, uh you don't have it so how do they they do they then see the stuff i put them on my social media Ah, yeah, there you go. my Instagram and mm-hmm. my Facebook. You see yeah. that? So very, very powerful. Yeah. Then when social media is very powerful, <laughs> anyway, you know, do not underestimate social media. Yeah. It's made companies do six-page, you know, explanations. That's how yeah. crazy powerful. And then it for is. Th- for the brides and the grooms, I'm sure there are some that are listening out and are still confused. Yes. Of what to do, mm. you know, I still get calls and I ask them, "Are you going with the COVID?" number or <laughs> <laughs> are you going with a normal number and then what is it yeah they're like no i'm confused i don't even know you know um the first thing as a couple make yourselves a priority yeah don't look at anything else around you mm. the most important thing is you the couple your marriage and your family yeah everybody else is secondary true so focus on yourselves and the family mm-hmm. and if you want to still put up the big show that you always wanted. I mean, we are happy doing the big weddings. We miss the big weddings. But if you can't do it and you feel that it's stressing you, mm. move the debt forward. Have a smaller number and have a bigger event later on. Yeah, actually, I yeah. know a number of my colleagues who, who did that. Yeah. Uh, some for economic reasons yeah. and then others for this one you're talking yeah. about. So yeah. they do the smaller mm. ceremonies that they get together yeah. and then at a later date. In the end, love wins. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah mm. And you know, like a little baby could even be a page girl or you page know? boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two years down the line whenever things become normal yeah, yeah. or the new normal, whatever that is. So yeah. thanks a lot uh, uh, for having you today, Chisala. I really appreciate you. Definitely. You know, I'm always calling on you. So when things get back to normal, you, you know you can always come to yeah. our show. You can always give me a call and say, hey, Rev my event is back (laughs) things are normal Mm. and then we'll be more than glad to have you on and and speak now i do that to those of you listening i do that because i've i've uh, there are certain entrepreneurs i come across like madam sima chambala here and uh my sister mulemo and a number of others who i just find so inspiring in their own way you look at what somebody's doing you go that's so uniquely different and it's just good to showcase such people if it wasn't for the fact that it's a conflict of interest i'd probably feature my wife as well I've, i'm amazed by her transformation yeah, <laughs> from where so we started well. from to where she is yeah. now so but but it's like mm, dude has invited his wife yeah. let me chat you no i can do the interview <laughs> <laughs> i think so interview. i think i'll call you yes yeah. absolutely because it'll be just weird it'll be so weird yeah it won't make sense because I know her inside out. Yeah. I know the transformation. So it's just weird. But it's always nice to see people like that, to see transformations. And there are quite a number in, in all these spaces, including yeah. yours. So that's why uh, I've got that certain liking to your kind of work and what you're doing. And, and of course, having you come through. So it's good to have you look forward, especially when you know you have your big event and things are kind of normalizing you know you can always come back here and we can do what we can Mm. to let people know about the kind of professionals we have in the industry so for myself it's been an awesome day and we gotta call another day next week it's supposed to be a a, a rant i was supposed to do a rant by myself Mm. but my man kenny said dude we have so much to talk about. I'm like, yes, we do. So he's coming. Back. <laughs> so he's coming. So we're going to be touching awesome. on all the crazy topics. Awesome. You know what's been going on. You know what's happening in this country. The gold. This, uh, in a year, the gold is definitely high up on the list. 
<laughs> along with the debt restructuring and so many other things we'll have fun uh, so don't forget to tune in next week and then catch that so my rant has been thrown a couple of weeks ahead so for myself thanks and back to you Zaza thank you so much Rev okay all right, there you have it. It is a wrap. Be sure to catch another episode of uh, Prosperity Insights next week uh, from 1835 to about 1930. Coming up shortly at uh, 20.